Merry Christmas everybody, welcome back to my channel for a brand new video on Dolan Sea Generations. Today I'm covering up something very, very, I would say festive, you know, just because it's Christmas we're going to be covering up how the snow feels on WRC. I've already said that it feels absolutely incredible. And also we're going to be checking out some of the new Monte Carlo stages where they've added a bit more ice, a little bit more snow, and they've made them a lot more challenging and, uh, you know, interesting for the average player. Before we actually get into the action, make sure you subscribe to the channel, it really helps me a lot. It would be probably the best Christmas gift you could give me if you would ever give me one obviously um but i'm planning a giveaway as well to give back to you guys so i really appreciate all the support that you're showing all the love and hopefully you're enjoying all of the videos that i'm recording and i'm now posting on the channel now that i'm back if we go now i decided to actually go on the epic stage it's a 25 kilometer snow stage and that really intrigued me you know not having tried that because i haven't done career mode yet it's a bit of a miss for me. I really want to try this out and I thought what a better time to try this out and talk a little bit about the snow in this game than Christmas, you know. It's not snowy here. Nowhere near snowy. It's actually it was 10 degrees today. So, you feel me? Like, uh, you know, I'm not really feeling like winter and probably this is the closest to snow I'm gonna see for this year. But never say never. Caution, break, right three, tightens. And left six, tightens, narrows, into right five, short. And right five, narrows, jump, into right five, narrows. I've already talked about how much I'm enjoying this brand new stages on Sweden. I think they're the most viable addition that this game has. Obviously, the game overly has its issues, you know, we've talked about the issues that the game has, but it has uh, a few points, yet again, as always, has been the case, that are really signed. For example, the stage design is still on very good, and uh, adding more of those stages into the game, just like in Sweden, has improved massively the game. On the other hand, it's not only the stage design that has signed on this aspect, it's the physics on the snow. They are much more better, uh, and I've uh, said it before, I think it's one of the more challenging surfaces on the game, but at the same time it's one of the more enjoyable, I would say. Haven't tried it on rain yet, which uh, is a bit of a bit weird, you know, I should have done that. To give you a bit of my opinion on rain as well. But I haven't done that. But I, I think it's going to be fine. It feels like gravel. As I've said previously. But a little bit better. Not like the previous years where it was uh, very, very easy. Nowadays it feels a lot harder. And I'm genuinely, genuinely enjoying it. Also I'm enjoying the stages as well. Caution left 530. Right five, keep in, 80. Left five, tightens, narrows into right six, tightens. Over bump, left six, medium, 300. Left six, Beautiful short, stages on, look at this. I've never been through this part before. That's why I wanted to try out this stage. We're still missing one stage, the first one, which I'm not really sure if it's uh, from the previous games. I'm not going to try it on this video, today we're trying only the epic stage, 25 kilometers of epic snowy driving. Look at that, narrow parts, wide parts, it's got everything, it's got everything. Such a variety into one single stage, and the driving is uh, generally very, very enjoyable. You know, the, the issue with this game is really the handbrake, you can't really use the handbrake as, uh, as effectively and as, you know, as safely as in the previous games. The previous games was just about fine, but this one, it's very bad. But thankfully here in the snow, you just have to power slide. You don't really have to do a lot with a handbrake. I haven't used it yet, for example. And I'm still like having a very, very nice stage. I'm really, really enjoying it at the moment. Right five, narrows, 80. Right four opens, 100. Right six short, 100. Left four into right four, medium. 
how easily the car just slides and it's so smooth. Absolutely love the stages. And the way the car feels on this uh, surface is the way it should feel on all surfaces. Killerton, if you're making a future rally game eventually at some point with more time for development, which I'm really intrigued to see what you're going to be able to do. This is like the ideal feeling of a, a rally car. I, I am absolutely in love with the way the cars feel on snow and gravel as well, if you fix the handbrake. <laughs> Right four, keep in, medium 200. Break, left three, 100. Jump, narrows. Right six, 30. Flat left 50. Left five, narrows, into left six, break. Into left five, narrows, tightens, into flat right, tightens. Into left five, over crest, into left five, over crest. Into left five, over crest, and right six, very long, tightens, over crest. Into right six, long. And right three, medium, opens. Jump, keep left, into right four. No handbrake whatsoever throughout this section. If you remember back when I made the first video, I used just a little bit of handbrake. Now no handbrake and I still lost the traction. Imagine had I used handbrake there. It has a few issues with the traction, but... I, I still I still cannot remember. Like, did we have these issues and just completely ignore them? Because... I didn't play WRC 10 at that much, like... I just don't remember. I just don't remember. I don't remember these issues on WRC 9, that's for sure. And I play that game quite a lot. But still, let's not, like, make any complaints now. There's gonna be a separate video for the complaints, probably. And the improvements that I would like to see on this game. Or any future rally games. Because now Killerton has got rid of the of the WRC license, which... So uh, could you know could turn them into could, could make us see something greater from Killerton. Not saying that these things aren't great, but imagine these stage design with a better overly game, free of bags, like the throttle bag we currently have. I'm not gonna start mentioning all the bags that we have on this game that just completely demotivate you. Like the overall feeling is nice and they should stick to that and Build up on that, you know. Build up on the overall feeling and the driving uh, and the stage design. I think it's very important to know what's good on your game. Know what's good with your game and know what's wrong with your game. We do have a bit of damage, as I saw there, from a few contacts here and there. So, realistic damage, epic stage. I'm getting some flashbacks there from. Previous career mode episodes, I'm not right really enjoying six, that. Left 50. Caution, left 4, cut, 400. That was a long braking zone there. Tree in, left, right 6, and flat left, 400. Right 6, bumpy, into flat left, over crest, 400. Under bridge, narrows. Into right six, don't cut. Oh, that's left. so fast. Oh god, right oh god, oh god, oh right god, oh god. Caution, hard brakes. Oi, that was a slight, slight contact there. That completely messed me up there. Just a slight contact, and I think we have suspension damage and something else I can really pay attention. The stage is about to get down. Imagine this on the green one, though. I would be finished right now. Imagine this. And then following up another epic stage. Left five, finished. Titans, Completely finished. The way I'm maneuvering through these corners is uh, the technique I told you on the previous right video, five, on the tips video, like 
slap the throttle a little bit, make some huge movements, uh, sudden movements with the wheel. Oh, that's very narrow. Full oh, guard. And, uh, you know, brake and just uh, slap the, the throttle. That's uh, one way to cause the power slide, which will, get, which will help you maneuver through the corners. Two more splits to go. Let's go. Right six, long, Titans, 200. Left six, short, 200. Left six, 50. Left five, keep into left six. And right six, long, into left six. Into right six, 50. Left five, keep in over crest. Into right six, into left five, 30. That's insane, that's absolutely insane. Right six, Titans. Oh 100. God. <laughs> this is so good, honestly. Nothing beats this. And nothing beats that damage as well. How the fuck do I get so much damage? I'm still not sure if that's realistic. Like, that's a bit too much, isn't it? Am I supposed to break there? Really? Like, I'm going flat out. I'm giving it my everything and I'm just getting damage. Also, pay attention to that. Because if I'm doing career mode on live streams, now that I have a little bit more free time, I, I could get into the... I could do some... Two or three test live streams on multi multi live streaming, which I'm planning to do. See how the game reacts. You know, I'm still having issues, you know, with my internet and uh, how are the frames going to be. Like I've always had issues streaming the WRC games, so we'll have to check this out. But yeah, I'm planning to make some tests to check out uh, if we can actually do a career mode on this game. Not really like intrigued about it. I might do it, you know, if I find the motivation to do some live streaming. The live streams will come either way, uh, but it depends on the career mode. Like the career mode is not a hundred percent into it, you know, if that makes sense. This is way too tight and way too slow. And the bunkings as well, very like strange kind of safe they have. You can't really avoid them that easily. Left five, I think the stage is about to be four. done. Into left four, short, break, into left three. Into right three, and left three, Titans. Into right four, short, into left three, medium. That was Titans. okay, that was okay. I think we're in the last few corners. Right last few corners. Left two, into right two. Very now low speed right 100. now. Could really make a mistake there and just. The whole stage just goes to nothing. But we're not gonna make a mistake. The whole stage is gonna be pretty decent at 1442. We're not really doing that for that. I did it to give you a little bit of gameplay and uh, show you how much I'm enjoying the snow on this game, obviously. So yeah, let's see actually, how, how well did we do? How well did we do? Um, can, I, can I see somewhere my... 321. I'm one minute and 26 seconds slower than the guy on first. Can I, can we can we confirm that by any chance? Like, really? We really do have someone that said in 30 minutes 16. I'm like honestly one minute and 40 seconds slower. Either way, that was not the 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 the, the point of the video. Let's move into Monte Carlo. Uh, but yeah, just, I just wanted to check out, but yeah. On to Motor Color, boys. Okay. The claustrophobic the 4 Puma is, in comparison to the i20N. But welcome to Monte Carlo driving, uh, you know, it's for Sebastian Leb. What I want to show you now, in Monte Carlo, the kind of changes they've made to how they integrate ice into the tarmac. Like, for example, check this out right here. This is uh, ice, and it's completely different. The way it feels, it's different to the previous games. And they've also like added it to more places. For example, here, we didn't have ice. Ice, snow, call it as you want. I think it's uh, more like snow. 
Nor do we have here. They've made uh, the stages a lot more challenging by adding uh, even more snow. You know, it's more down to... It's, it's more like the original theme of this uh, whole rally. It's more like Tarmic plus snow. And they've tried to make this like filling come into the game. Like, you have less grip here, but not, like, completely, like... It's not completely snow, that's what I want to say. It's not, like, directly snow where you have absolutely no grip. It's more like a little bit of snow into the tarmac. Like, a little bit more slippery, you have to be a little bit more cautious, it's not that bad. But yeah, Monte Carlo would be nice to have holidays here for a winter. I, I can imagine. Up in the snow. I'm yet to understand how to use the handbrake though, it still feels so weird and you're scared now to use it because you think you'll spin. And that's why I actually chose this stage to show you the differences of when they've added snow. I don't really want to go to Col de Brau where it's going to be full on snow for some some part. Even though I would like to try Col de Brau as well and see if they've made any changes there. That was a good herping, with the use of handbrake. Jimmy Broadway said that tarmac doesn't feel right, but it doesn't feel that bad. It, it feels different, obviously, from the previous games, but I can't see the way he says compared to Dare Rally 2.0 that they are like, uh, they, they went at Dare Rally 2.0 way. I don't see it like that. I see it as um, a change. Not directly positive or negative it it's some at some points it feels a little bit like a, a good change at some points it feels like a bad change but i'm not really sure about it you know i'm st i'm still like all over the place a little bit with this one but um i'm actually feeling like doing another stage you know let's do call the brow as well you know why not let's uh, have a little bit more snow to end this uh uh christmas uh, wc generation special video we want a bit more snow to end this video, and here we go. 64% asphalt and 36% on the snow. Let's try and have as much fun as we can, boys. And uh, at the same time, showcase the new snow physics on tarmac. Oh, there was debris there. We've, <laughs> that's the first time we're seeing this on this game so far. There was literally derby on the stage, and I felt the vibration. Could it cause you damage on the car? On your own car? I don't know. But hopefully now, the car that we saw is going to be retired at the end of the stage. Otherwise, I'm going to be very pissed. Actually, we can't really see that. My bad. Because it's uh, like a, the signal play is like a time trial. I don't think you're, you're really comparing to the AI. But in the previous career mode uh, videos on... Like on the previous games, you whenever you saw like a retired car, it never really was retired at the end. Like it was just there for just just for the sake of it. Or oh, they've added the wall there because uh, a lot of people were running wide on these sports. Nice, I like that. I like that detail. The most well-known stage on the WC games. This is the the go-to stage and the real test for how bad the handbrake is on this game. Not that bad yet. We haven't we haven't spun yet. We're, the first time I'm gonna spin, I'm gonna say it, it is the handbrake. Fine. The thing is, I don't. I haven't read anything on the patch notes that they fixed it or anything. Like it, they they haven't really paid attention to the problem, which is my main concern. Like it is. It is different to the previous game, so you have to say something about it, at least. Now I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine now. Not on all happens, but I don't know if it's the fact that I'm getting used to it, or, or is it just fine? I don't know. I don't know. You tell me. But I did well for a first time around Call the Bro. A little bit faster section there now, before we actually get into the real snow. Get ready, boys. It's gonna get real snowy in here. That was cringe. Snowy, onto the jump. Let's see how the snow feels. The snowy tarmac. Can you push? Oh, the tarmac as well. Okay. Let's see. Handbrake. 
Okay, not as bad as on the previous game. I remember that when you see 10, I hated it. Like, I hated it with a passion. It was so hard to even maneuver in this section. You were sliding all over the place. It was... There was no way you could control the car. Now it feels better. Nice job. Nice job, developers. Nice job. I don't even know if you actually cared for it. Like, if you... Because it wasn't on my, like, uh, negatives of the previous game, but it really was. The brakes were bad. I want to slide, but I want to have fun at the same time. I want to brake. I want my car to be usable. On the previous game, you, you couldn't do any of those things. You couldn't, like, brake. You couldn't use the handbrake. It was very, very high. It was like ice. It was not snow. This is snow. And I appreciate that. Back to real tarmac now. It's going to be a little bit more snow over the... Here and there. So we still need to be careful. That was a very nice handbrake there. All the hairpin. Ooh, a lot of snow here. Ooh, that's... Very, you have to be very careful there. And just about on the brakes. We didn't crash though. Just run wide. <laughs> I lost it there on the snow. If you if you over piss the car, you're gonna lose it in the snow for sure. You have to be very careful. And across the finish line, that's gonna be it. Nice. Nice way to end the video. Nice way to end the video. Really liked it. Uh, I think it's uh, very, very enjoyable on this game. Both the snow and Monte Carlo with the tarmac in the snow. I think you're going to have fun. Uh, now that it's like Christmas, you, you should try out a little bit more the uh, the Swedish stages. The Monte Carlo stages are, have changed a little bit and they are a lot more enjoyable. And I think you're going to have a lot of fun in this game. With all its negatives and bags, it's still got a, a nice overall driving feeling and... You're gonna have fun, obviously. Just, uh, just try it out. But that's all really I had to say. Hopefully you're having a wonderful time in this uh, Christmas holiday. Spend as much time as you can enjoying your life. Uh, spending some time with your loved ones, you know, your family and all. I think that's the spirit of Christmas. That's what I'm gonna do now that I'm gonna close this camera pretty much. And uh, yeah, hopefully you're having a great time. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you smash the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter, enjoy my Discord server. Do have a little bit of chit chat with me if you want and suggest me ideas for the channel and all that. But for today, it's been MinTM and I'm gonna catch you on the next video. Peace.